Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Trent Talk Daily. On today's show, we we'll take a look at some of the most insane Karen public freakouts caught on camera. So we have a whole lot of videos to check out. So let's jump right. Uh, so our first crazy Karen has an epic meltdown at the store after she's refused service for not wearing a mask. Let's check it out. Oh, Uh, so our next crazy Karen completely loses her at this theater. Yeah, this Karen definitely has a lot of issues, y'all. But anyways, check out the full clip to see how it all went down. Let's check it out, guys. Oh my God. Get her out of here. Hey, 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 gun, gun, gun. He's pulling. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? I'm calling the police. I'm calling the police. What's your last name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Daniel Burris. Daniel Burris, okay. What's your name and what's your name and what's your name? Because I got it on video that you pulled a gun on girls. I have it on video. It's fucking water, you snowflake. It's water. It's water, you snowflake. It's fucking water. Uh, so this next military veteran has an epic meltdown at this restaurant after he's refused service. Let's check it out. Let's talk about rules. Let's look at this restaurant for a minute. A two-time war vet can't come into this restaurant and have a meal. Sorry, I'm unvaccinated. I'm a two-time war vet, can't sit down in this restaurant and eat a meal with these people that are basically sitting on top of each other, having a great meal. Enjoy yourself, sir. What a nice Remembrance Day is. This really represents a really great thing. A two-time war vet can't sit down in the Irving and have a meal. I mean, I was refused service at your restaurant for not giving my private medical information. You don't need your medical. You just need a piece of government ID and a proof of your vaccination. That would be my medical information. I would be providing you with okay, well, my medical. I'm sorry. I can provide you with my war medals where I fought and watched my friends get ripped into shreds so that you guys can refuse me a meal on Remembrance Day. We're not refusing a meal. We just have rules that we have to follow. Really? And you choose, I know, but, 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 but you choose following rules over doing what you know is right in your heart. I'm not saying any of that, but. You don't have to. I can feel it. There you have it. Uh, so our next crazy Karen has an epic meltdown at court and you will not believe what happens next. Let's check it out. Personal life is no, no. business, so it has nothing to do with Miss Hardwick, boys. No. you will be held in contempt of this court if you I become don't, disruptive. I don't care. I haven't done anything to this court. I haven't done anything to okay. him. She will be arrested for contempt any, of court. It doesn't make any difference. You will serve uh, 10 days for contempt of court. Go now. Hey. 
All right, so our next crazy Karen gets into a heated confrontation with this store manager. So Karen had hair in her suit and was offered a refund, but Karen decided to take matters into her own hands. Let's check it out. Karen gets into a heat altercation at this hospital and shit got ugly really quick. Let's check it out. Excuse me! Fuck you! I said okay. something and I said I need water and you're not putting your hands on me. If you fing put your hands on me, you are breaking the laws of physics and you are not allowed to do that to back up. Alright, he didn't want to ask for it, you're up. Who? Petey. Petey? Who's yes. Petey? The police department yes. is going to come get me you from asking for water in a hospital. You can't Bring him the f*** on. Bring him the f*** on. Uh, so this next crazy Karen definitely has a serious case of road rage. Let's jump right into it. racist Karen road rage. No. You hit me from behind. You were at fault. No. You hit me. Like and follow for part two. So our next crazy Karen gets into a heated altercation with this guy, all because he had a Black Lives Matter flag. Yeah, this Karen definitely has a lot of issues, y'all. Let's check it out. Right, get control of yourself and let go of my flag. Let go of my flag, lady. Lady, lady, let go. You should get informed about who lady, is supporting. Lady, lady, you need to get control of yourself. I wish you would. Be an adult. Be an adult. Be an adult. You want trouble? You want to laugh? You want to laugh? I kill your mother. Get off my property. This is my fucking property, okay? I don't want this shit here. Think it's funny? I like the tattoo of your hand. No, you don't like the tattoo of my Yeah, yeah. Go ahead, video me. You think you're fucking slick? Get this shit off my fucking property, okay? Am I okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be okay real quick. Uh, next crazy Karen has an epic meltdown at this post office. Let's check it out. Unacceptable that you can't fix the mailboxes and you can't deliver my mail. 
Just put the camera on. I don't give a up. shit about COVID. There are people all over the place to get a job. Just put the camera on. Watch this thing on the camera because of COVID. You can sit here and yell at me and argue with all day. It doesn't change. You're not trying to change the problem. We're just giving you bad excuses. I gave you two options. I told you those options are one option for me. I work far away from here and I cannot come here every day to get my money. Okay, the problem. We're not going to deliver it from the government. You know what? No, don't give a shit. That's why the bill, that's why the post office is going downhill. Because it's a pain in the ass to come up here. So I don't have to be serious. <laughs> so that's today's show i want to thank every single person for tuning in make sure to like and subscribe until next time guys more karens <laughs>